Yo, what's good guys? It's Andrew from TravelingGuitars.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between uh, balanced and unbalanced cables, as well as the simple fact right now to answer your question, um, guitar cables are unbalanced. Um, the reason why guitar cables are unbalanced is because they don't really need to be balanced. Um, if, you, if you look at a, an unbalanced cable, here's what it looks like. You got the tip and the sleeve, and those are kind of the two main characteristics of the, of the unbalanced cable because it just has the tip, which is the main wire, and then it has the sleeve to kind of uh, minimize any outside interference or noise. So as I wrote about here, I kind of summed it down. I said guitar cables are not balanced. They're unbalanced because there's only one wire in addition to a shield in comparison to a balanced cable, which typically has three prongs or three wires, one wire that runs alongside an additional wire as well as the shield that comes with it. So... That's where the term TS comes from. It means tip and sleeve. Um, this also means that the cable is mono. Um, it's not stereo because if it was stereo, it would have it would have two wires. And um, for the, for this reason, um, unbalanced cables tend to be more susceptible to noise, and that's why uh, cables like guitar cables and other instrument cables like that they're not they're typically a bit shorter than um, other kinds of cables. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the diagram of the, the TRS cable now. So this is more of the TRS cable. You got the, t the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. You can see it's kind of uh, drawn out here clearly. Um, that's why it's called TRS, TRS, tip, ring, sleeve. Um, so you kind of have within it two wires that run in opposite polarity to each other along with the ground. Um, I can't explain how exactly they're canceling each other out, but I know that it's common. It's called common mode rejection. So it's kind of like the two wires are running <clears throat> alongside each other in opposite polarity and a consequence of this is that when they get to the other side of you know the receiving device whatever it is they it ends up like flipping both of them and then they they cancel each other out and uh for whatever reason i, I can't explain it but it, it just cancels out the noise and it doesn't cancel out the actual sound of what's being communicated so some crazy science stuff right and also this is a different kind of uh, TRS cable, but you can see the XLR. It's kind of the same thing. It's like the same principle. It's just a bit different in terms of its prongs. So you have the hot signal, right? And then you have the cold signal, and then you have the ground wire. It's kind of similar to this one. If you like, if you were to break open a, a headphone, uh, a headphone jack, I'll actually go down there right now to show you. Um, where are you? So yeah. The picture isn't that great. I couldn't I couldn't get it to get a, a good enough close up. But you see, yeah, you have the left here, this left red wire right here, and then you have the right wire. Those are the, that means it's stereo. You got the one and then and then the other, light left and right, or hot and cold. Then you have the copper ground that comes along with it. So yeah, I mean it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, in terms of why they don't use the balance cables for everything, it's just it's not really necessary. So if if they wanted to make a every cable balance. It just wouldn't be needed. It's mostly as a consequence of complexity and cost. So, I mean, it would just take more design components and more work and time put into each into each unit. And um, that, that cost would be passed on to the consumer and consumers aren't willing to pay the extra money to get it um, the way they, you know, to get it fully balanced. So that's from, from what I understand about it and what I've found out in my research. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for this video. Um, I hope this article was helpful for uh, for you. Uh, you know, some of the images are a bit repetitive, but you know, I'll make sure to put the link in to the article in my uh, video description. That way, you um, you know can really read the explanation of everything that I talked about here, except in a little bit more detail. Um, but yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.